Hello! My name is Bree and I am the teen librarian at the Grosbeck branch of the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Today, in partnership with the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative, I'm going to walk you through a quick craft involving binary code. But first, what's binary code? It's actually quite simple. Binary code is a language that uses two symbols. Whether those symbols be raised bumps or unraised bumps, as in Braille, short taps or long taps, as in Morse code, or zeros and ones, like in computer code. That's it. Two symbols, one language. All right, let's get crafting. For this craft, you're going to need beads in two different colors, some string for your bracelet or necklace, a marker and some scratch paper, and a copy of the binary code alphabet reference sheet. Most modern computer systems use an 8-bit binary code. The first three digits in each sequence would help determine the type of character, such as capital letters, lowercase letters, punctuation, and symbols. However, for the sake of crafting, I find that using the 5-bit binary code is a little bit more manageable. Take a moment to think about what you want your bracelet or necklace to say. Once you have that, you can use the binary code alphabet reference sheet to plan out how many of each beads you will need and what order your zeros and ones should go in. And now, following along with my little cheat sheet showing me where to put my zeros and ones, I'm just going to get these beads on the string. Voila, here we have it, our finished product. If I was going to do this again, I would probably use some string instead of a pre-made necklace, because as you can see, I ran out of room while spelling library. All right, that's it from me today. Thank you so much for hanging out and learning this cool new craft with me. I can't wait to see what secret messages you've encoded inside your bracelet. Everyone, take care and stay safe. This video was produced in partnership with the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative. For more STEM activities, visit greatercincystem.org.